hello, hello, hello. You're tuning into the episode of The Wonderkin Show. Today's first topic score prediction for the Ravens. <laughs> so, look, you already know we got Sunday Night Football Ravens versus the Chargers. Uh, there is some bad blood between this team because they're the same team that went in Lamar's rookie season that we faced in the playoffs that knocked us out. And uh, I know for a fact <laughs> Lamar wants more than just – because we beat him last year, but I know he wants his get back. Trust me on that. But – and so I think the Ravens win, of course. But there's some there's some storylines and plots in this game that changes up the way that we would usually look at it. Okay, for one, we all know Mark Andrews is out. Okay, so Lamar's favorite target is his most reliable target and has been his most productive target since Lamar Jackson has become the starter and uh, pass the passer for this team. With that being said, the Chargers are going to load up to stop the run. They're going to do everything in their power to make sure to to limit Gus Edwards. Keaton Mitchell, and of course, Lamar Jackson. So I'm thinking that they're probably going to try, if, they, if, if like what they did originally was put a whole bunch of DBs on the field, if that's the case, run it down their throats. You know what I'm saying? Me, small man on big man, big man's winning 70% of the time. So you know what I'm saying? You do it that way. But I think what that's going to open up is going to be, if that's the way that they play it, it's going to open up a play action game. And I think these receivers have a big day, a big day. And look, I've been calling for Rashad for the last four weeks. There have been overthrows. There have been drops. There have been a lot of things. This is, I'm not saying he's going to go off. But I'm saying this would be the game where Rashad Bateman should show out. Because here's the thing. They already know about Zay. Zay's not taking anybody by, uh, <laughs> By a uh, uh, surprise, he that's not happening. The whole league understands what he is. He's the human joystick. They're like, all right, we gotta get hats on him. Multiple people swarm to the ball and limit his production, right? And everybody already knows who OBJ is, right? The two players that benefit the most to have the biggest impact for today's game is Isaiah Likely and Rashad Bateman. And here's the thing. Isaiah likely simply because he's stepping into the role of what Mark Andrews was and is to this team, but also because we've seen what Isaiah likely can do. And the last time when Isaiah likely went um, in, because you remember the last time we played him, Mark Andrews did not play, Isaiah likely did. If I'm not mistaken, Isaiah likely had like 119 receiving yards that game versus the Chargers. And I'm pretty sure he was looking to do that once again. So, I like, Isaiah likely, great, but Rashad Bateman, is going to have shots because they're going to bring that safety into the box. Yeah, those deep comeback routes, deep crosses, nine route, all go balls, that's Rashad Bateman's territory. If him and Lamar can connect, this can be a massive game for Bateman. Mind you, I'm not saying he's going to do it because as we've seen, there's been some balls where Lamar's missed him. There's been some times when Rashad... Looked like he ran it wrong. So they, they're they still trying to work through their kinks. You know what I'm saying? And, they, and and more than anything, consistency. Lamar said it. I've said it. Harbaugh said it. Consistency. That's what they're working towards. So if they can be consistent today, expect a big day for Rashad Bateman. And I mean a massive day. But do not sleep on what likely can do. Like, And here's the thing. Like I said before, a lot of people are going to say, why are you thinking that Lamar is going to be throwing, 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 is because they're going to overplay the run. One of two things happens when that happens. If you're overplaying to stop the run, that means you're going to overcommit on play action or when it's time to spread you out, it gets guys in space and they get the ball out their hands quick because they're going to keep blitzing and sending guys and keeping guys in the box. That means the middle of the field, behind those linebackers and stuff like that are going to be cookies. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm saying what I'm saying. Now, look, this could be a close game. Why? Because Justin Herbert can have one of the games that he had a couple weeks ago where he throws for five touchdowns, whatever. But because they're going against our defense, I think that that's going to limit him. I think they're going to put him and hit. I think they're going to hit him and hit him often. I think they're going to rattle that offensive line. I think they're going to make him double and, and pump fake. That means go to throw and pull it back down and get to him. And I think they might get a forced fumble this game because one thing he likes to do is – Check down or go deep. And here's the thing. 
The one of the things that they do well is one of our weaknesses. They like to use the running backs in the pass game. That has been the Achilles heel of this defense. That if you can look at one thing to point to, particularly that they're weak at, it's been that. And guess who they have on their team? Austin Eckler. And the funny thing, people like, he looks slow. Listen, look. Every every guy might seem they need a game where they get their feet under him and go and take off. This could be the game for him. So I'm not as uh uh not like taken by the Austin Eckler thing because he can go off. He can definitely go off. You know what I'm saying? Sideline to sideline speed, being able to make people miss in space. He gets the ball often. That's not what our linebackers want to do. Our linebackers want to attack the guys north to south. And if you try to do any seam routes, attack those. That's where they, you know what I'm saying, they, they strive. That's where they, they, they shine. But that sideline to sideline, even though they have the speed to do so, when it's guys in space, they have trouble with that. And we've been beaten a plenty of times uh, by running backs to know that it's one of the weaknesses of this defense. That's why I say the Chargers score, just not a lot. But I think that they're going to hit Justin Herbert and make him one-dimensional. If you make him one-dimensional, this should be a in-the-basket game. All we got to do is we make sure that we're holding on to the ball. Uh, Joey Bosa is not playing, if I'm not mistaken. So there shouldn't be a crap load of pressure on Lamar. The offensive line should be able to play up. Ronnie Stanley should be back. Thank God! No, look, I'm not sold on Ronnie Stanley, but what I want to do is get him reps. Not simply because I think that he's going to dominate, but because I need him to get his feet under him before the playoffs. The playoffs are going to have multiple guys that can rush the passer, and we do not need him still. Oh, I'm still nursing my foot. I'm not 100%. I need more reps. No! I need that man to get as much reps as possible to get as comfortable on that leg as possible. So that's why I'm saying that. Not because I think he's some world beater right now, but because I need him to be better later on in the season, preferably the playoffs. So my score prediction for today, I got the Ravens scoring. 31 points, and I got the Chargers putting up 10 to 14 points. That's what I got. Everyone's going to say, well, we're averaging over 30 points right now in the last four or five games. I hope y'all know that. We are doing it. We are doing it. So, yeah, 31 points. I got Lamar Jackson throwing for three touchdowns, rushing for one touchdown. Yeah. So, 28. I believe that's 28 between the points right there. And then, of course... Um, field goal makes it 31. And I think that's when we're up. Uh, it's probably going to be like 7, 20-something. Harbaugh's going to try to take the foot off the gas and just run the ball gout, and run the clock simply because we're trying to get out of there healthy, and I understand that. We're going into the bye week. We want to go into the bye week healthy and have a whole other week to get even more healthy and then attack the rest of the season because the rest of the season is not easy, bro. 49ers, Steelers. Like, we got, we got games. So that's my score prediction for today. 31, 14. If the defense doesn't give up anything else, 31, 10. 31, 10, that's us. Lamar Jackson with three passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown, and he sits and pretty much, or they just run the ball for the rest of the score, gets a field goal range, kick a field goal, and that's how they get the 31. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section, please, because that's my score prediction. Let me know what yours are, please. And always, like always, I think this catapults Lamar back further into the MVP conversation, and I also do believe that the defense uh, leaves this game with four sacks at the minimum. One of those touchdowns are going to Rashad Bateman also. So let me know what you think the score predictions are. Let me know what your player props and everything are also. And as always, this episode of the Wonderkin. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Y'all know how we get down. We have fun and we laugh. But everything we talk about rooted in what? Facts and truth. Please do join us later. We will be streaming the, the Ravens versus the Chargers game live. Y'all know how we get it done at 8 something. So be there or be Squared. <laughs> oh. And you know I got to put a slap in there also. All right? So, please remember, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, leave a comment. You know I love the comments. And if you haven't done so already, check out the one that controls Patreon. Yes, three tiers of content goodness waiting for your consumption. Give it a look. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. And also, if you want to donate to this channel, help out with equipment, that's how this channel has grown. Bottom of the screen is a QR code. QR codes to a cash app. 
Cash App located in the description of every video that we do. And the name of it is Money Sign, the one that can show. You know what I'm saying? Super easy. And like I said, that's how the donations, the best nation is donation. That's how we built this channel. The likes, the, the external hard drive, the iPad, the fan, the whole stuff. So if you want to give and help, that's how you do it. But once again, this is the one that can show. This is your host, Nitro, signing off. And as always, you know my slogan. Peace. And I am out of here. Yeah.